Hello YouTube audience. So this video was originally supposed to be about all the anti-diet dietitians popping off on TikTok and all the messed up stuff around that, but in the process of researching, I came across something that I really want to talk about. So there's this woman. I've seen her before and in almost all of her videos she uses the anti-diet hashtag and she says some pretty wild stuff relating to nutrition and food. I'm about to say something that is going to piss off a lot of people in diet culture. You ready? Emotional eating is okay. I'm just going to say it one more time for good measure. Emotional eating is okay. Regardless of it being positive. Now, I am not pretending that loving your body is going to solve everything. It absolutely won't because fat phobia and weight stigma are forms of systemic oppression and they are very real. They're not all in your head and they cause very real harm. But understanding that fat phobia is a form this might seem counterintuitive, but your healthiest body is not going to require you to do unhealthy things to get there. We live in a culture that has done a really good job at convincing us to believe that health looks a certain way, aka thin. And if you are basing your health on your weight, you might struggle to feel positively about it unless you are thin or under a certain weight. So after I discovered her, I went to her page and I found her bio. It says, food and body image coach. That's a big red flag. She talks all the time about nutrition information, but here's something to note when you're on social media. There is a huge difference between a nutritionist and a dietitian. Anyone can really call themselves a nutritionist. Some states do regulate what is and is not considered a nutritionist, but we're talking about the internet, so we don't even know what state people are living in or if they're even following these types of rules. Dietitians have to have special certifications to call themselves dietitians. It's why you often hear the term registered dietitian, because like nurses, dietitians have to have a degree in dietetics and they have to go through exams and all this type of stuff to call themselves dietitians. Nutritionists have none of that. So if you ever see anyone in their profile that says nutritionist, I guarantee you they don't have a dietetics degree and you should proceed with caution. This woman doesn't even have nutritionist in her bio. She just says food and body image coach. So after finding her page, it got me thinking of why she makes content like this, like what does she get out of it? She doesn't say anything that you haven't heard on my channel before if you've watched some of my other videos. She says things like health and weight aren't related, that emotional eating is fine, things like that. So just very generic fat acceptance rhetoric. But then I noticed that in a lot of her videos, she targets people specifically with binge eating problems. You might find this hard to believe, but the answer to binge eating is not more willpower and control. In fact, the more in control you try to be around food, the more out of control you're going to become around food. It's like this. Imagine that restriction is like pulling back a bow and arrow and you keep pulling back, increasing that tension. If you didn't already know, being full and being satisfied are two very different things. If you're constantly overeating, it might be because it's really hard to stop at a comfortable if you've been trying to remove certain types of foods for medical reasons, but you keep binge eating on those foods, this video is for you. She gives people generic advice on how to deal with binge eating disorder. And then I found the link in her bio. It's called the Food Body Soul Academy. And it has a picture of her and what looks like a retreat going on. And it's a four month coaching group for women who crave a community to heal their relationship with food, body, and herself. So she has this quiz thing where you are supposed to like mark things that you've dealt with, with it, problems with your body, I feel addicted to sugar and carbs, stuff like that. If you are a woman, you have probably experienced at least one of these things in your life. So you get to this section where it says you deserve to feel peace, freedom, insanity with food and comfortable and confident in your body. It says things like, You've probably been led to believe that you'll have more confidence, more happiness on the other side of weight loss, but what has your life become as a result of this path? You deserve, basically it's just saying you deserve to be happier and not think about food all the time. This is some information about who she is, all that stuff. So if you keep scrolling past all this stuff, you find the monthly breakdown of the Food Body Soul Academy. So this is a 16 week program and here's what goes on. First five weeks are about food, the second five weeks are about body image, and the last five weeks are about soul, aka self. And it's all supposed to be kind of a therapeutic way of dealing with all of these issues you have with your body and with food. So what's included? You get 12 weeks of pre-recorded online course materials. You get 16 group coaching calls with this woman who does this. So the calls are 90 to 120 minutes long, an hour and a half to two hours long. Four workshops with guest experts, presumably talking about 
it says anti-diet and intuitive eating space, eating disorder recovery, body confidence, things like that. Two one-on-one -on -one coaching calls with Cara that are 60 to 90 minutes long, a private Facebook group and WhatsApp chat, and during the last six weeks, three of your group coaching calls will be breathwork. So breathwork is just part of these group coaching calls. So after seeing all of this, I was like, it's generic stuff all meant to like help women deal with their issues. So how much do you think all of this costs? $3,300. Yeah. What qualifications does this woman have to be giving all of this advice to these women? So I looked her up on LinkedIn. So her bio on LinkedIn says she's an anti-diet health coach. Then if you scroll down to her education, it says she has an associate's degree in merchandise product development, some sort of degree in fashion business, and then most recently, a holistic nutrition degree from Southwest Institute of Healing Arts. So I have never heard of this school before, so I looked it up. So this Southwest Institute of Healing Arts apparently gives yoga degrees and holistic health and wellness degrees, massage training programs, Western herbalism programs, um, things like that. It says, they teach things like aromatherapy, canine massage, cranial unwind, wait, no, canine massage? Okay, cranial unwinding, deep tissue massage, things like that. They also have this super long page of awards and accreditations, which honestly kind of makes the whole thing look more sketchy. Like if you're legitimate, why do you have to have an entire page of accreditations to try to prove that you're a legitimate school? But yeah, the entire school seems kind of um, suspect. I also went on LinkedIn and found the school and it says it's like a private college, an award-winning school, but it also says it's in the top 50 companies to watch by the ASBA. But I thought this was a school. Why is it in a list of top companies to watch? Everything I found about this school is red flags and red flags on red flags, honestly. Now, I don't really care where anyone gets their degree or if they want a degree in yoga or whatever, but this woman is charging $3,300 for her course to try to help people with disordered eating and body image. And I don't think even a licensed medical professional or registered dietitian should be charging $3,300 for what is essentially a bunch of pre-recorded videos and some Zoom calls, let alone someone with this woman's credentials. So I decided to actually break down how much you're getting with this $3,300 for this 16 week program to try to heal your food, body, and soul. So for this type of money, you get 12 weeks of pre-recorded videos, 16 group coaching calls, so once per week, four online workshops, two one-on-one -on -one coaching calls, and a Facebook and WhatsApp group. So if we break down this $3,000 into week by week, you're paying about $200 a week. So let's break down what you're getting each week. So you get one group coaching call, so we'll say that's $75 a week. Then you get approximately 11 minutes of one-on-one -on -one coaching per week with Cara if you break down the two sessions within the 16 weeks. So we'll say that's about $75. You get one group workshop or pre-recorded video per week. So we'll say that's $50. And then you get a Facebook and WhatsApp group. And we'll say that's free because I'm feeling generous today. So for $200 a week, you're getting a group Zoom call to learn about how to love yourself or some information about nutrition from this woman that is not a registered dietitian. You're getting 11 minutes of coaching with this woman as well. You're getting pre-recorded videos or a group workshop. And I'm whatever's in these videos is nothing I'm sure you couldn't find on YouTube about nutrition and loving yourself that you could get on YouTube for free. Like, I'm, I'm sure of that. And then you get a Facebook group and a WhatsApp group, which you, is also free. So that's what you're getting for $200 a week. That Paying that much for all of this seems pretty absurd. If you have $200 to spend on bettering yourself, bettering your relationship with food or your body, go to an actual therapist. That is enough money, even without insurance, to go see a therapist and work through this every week 
instead of watching some pre-recorded videos on how to develop a better relationship with your body, you can see a professional for this amount of money every week, and I'm sure you would have better results than going through this type of program. So I found this woman, I found this program, and I was like, this is highly suspect. Like, it's really strange to offer all of this for this amount of money when someone could get a lot more by seeing an actual professional instead of a generic body image and food coach. But she's not the only one. I found multiple other people offering courses like this, people that are not registered dietitians. Some of them don't even have a nutrition degree of any sort, not even one from a suspect institute like this woman. There's this woman, she's also a health coach and intuitive eating coach. She makes a bunch of videos under the anti-diet hashtag and also under the binge eating hashtag. And she says generic stuff like the last woman did about how to not restrict and why restriction is bad. I followed her link as well. So she has this get on the mindful method wait list. So congrats on making the first step improving your relationship with food and yourself. Um, we are taking applications for January 2021, blah, blah, blah. So let's go. So question eight of this survey asks, if you're accepted, what are you willing to invest? She's basically asking how much are you willing to spend on this program? And obviously she's incentivized to choose the people who are willing to spend more on this. Like you can't even find out how much it's worth. It's apparently somewhere between 1,000 and 4,000. Most likely it's on the higher end because like I said, she's incentivized to choose the people that are going to spend more. And then if you go through all of this, she will send you an email back to see if you're accepted or not. So I went to this woman's LinkedIn to see what degrees she has. She has an undergraduate degree in journalism, but she does have this Institute of Integrative Nutrition degree, this health coach degree, which from what I can tell is a legitimate institute. It's a six or 12 month long program where you learn about nutrition basics and things like that. It's still not a registered dietitian degree, which like I said, you have to get an entire undergraduate degree. You have to go through an internship. You have to go through certifications. It's a whole long process, but at least she has this in this type of degree. But if you actually go back and look at what her mindful method coaching program does, it actually doesn't involve any one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's a 13 week long program. It has live coaching calls, um, a private Facebook group, weekly Facebook live trainings with a Q&A, monthly guest coaching calls, and a lifetime access to other resources. So with everything you get in this program, if you break it down week by week like we did with the other one, you actually get less with this one than the other one, assuming you pay also around $3,000 for the program, which is probably close to what you will actually pay. It still seems very expensive for what you get, and you could still go to an actual dietitian and probably get a lot more bang for your buck. Aside from her, I also found this woman, from what I can tell, she has a food science degree and no more credentials after that. But if you go to her actual TikTok page and follow her links, you can get to this peace process. And it's the same thing, a 16 week coaching experience to finally end the vicious cycle of binge eating and make peace with your food and body. And it's the same stuff as the other ones, weekly live coaching sessions, weekly video content release, so pre-recorded videos with handouts, a Facebook group, and a freedom buddy for one, one support, which is also another person involved in this that isn't the instructor. And all of this for $200 a week. So $3,000 altogether. And she lets you cancel within the first month, but I guess if you're past the first month, you just have to pay the full $3,000. Cool. And she also posts videos under the anti-diet hashtag, also specifically focusing on binge eating disorder. In fact, her profile says binge eating coach, and she says the same anti-diet fat acceptance type rhetoric as the other ones. The reason I feel the need to talk about these programs is not just because 
these people don't seem to have a lot of credentials to be giving coaching to these women in their programs and the fact that they seem very overpriced for what they're offering, but because all of them seem to target people with binge eating disorder. Like they're all under the anti-diet hashtag, but they all focus on overeating and binge eating and also body insecurities and trying to feel better within your bodies. To me, that seems like they are specifically targeting plus size women because plus size women are most likely the people that would be under the anti-diet hashtag and also the ones struggling with overeating and binge eating. And as we have seen in a lot of my videos, they tend to be very insecure people who have gone through the cycle of dieting and are still overweight. They're still insecure in their bodies and they find these people, they find these programs and they're the most likely people to join these groups. And that's why all of this seems very predatory. They are taking the body positivity, fat acceptance rhetoric and telling people what they want to hear that health has nothing to do with size and that overeating is okay, but if you're still insecure that we can help you and you just have to pay these $3,000 and my coaching will help you. But like I said, if you have $3,000 to spend in 16 weeks on bettering yourself and your relationship with food, spend it with an actual registered dietitian or a therapist to help you with your issues. You'll most likely get a lot more from it than these people who are not registered dietitians. They don't seem to have a lot of credentials to be helping people and they don't seem to be offering that much for the price. I found these three people with very little effort, so there seems to be a lot of these types of programs and these types of quote-unquote nutritionists under the anti-diet hashtag that seem to be targeting plus-size women and their insecurities and their bad relationships with food and, and people with binge eating problems. So it all seems highly suspect. I don't like it. Watch out for it.